morning. Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. Amen. Uh, continue working through the book of Acts. It is raining today, so inside we are, but uh, the word of God is still powerful. <clears throat> All right, now we're in chapter 8 of the book of Acts, and uh, uh, Stephen has just been martyred. And now uh, we're going to get into the beginning of chapter 8, and it gives us a glimpse of the Apostle Paul's testimony. Maybe you don't know about this, but Paul has an incredible testimony. And so let's read it and see what we can learn this morning. All right, it says this, chapter 8, verse 1. Now Saul was consenting to his death. Saul is Paul. At that time, a great persecution arose against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Sumeria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Saul, who we now know as the Apostle Paul, it says right there in the first uh, sentence, Saul was consenting to his death. So Saul was right there. That was the young man that they were laying their clothes on. And they were laying their clothes and giving them their clothes so that blood wouldn't get on their clothes. And so he was happy to hold their clothes while they were killing uh, a man of God. This is the same Apostle Paul who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. The same Apostle Paul that we read about who... Uh, is powerful and mighty in, in the things of God. This is the same one. But here he is, before he is saved, he, he's an enemy of God and he's against the church of God. Amen. Like this is a testimony right here, a real one. Paul thought it was a good idea that Stephen was killed. He thought it, it was good. Like how, how bad do you have to be to think that it's good for somebody to be executed? And to think it was a good idea, to consent to it. This was Saul. This is Paul who we, we later, now we, we appreciate and we enjoy and we love his words that he writes. And, and so it gives us a picture of him that, that the church was lam lamenting or crying or mourning over Stephen. But Paul was rejoicing over that he thought it was good. And so this gives us an incredible testimony. He entered every house, dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. He is going all out against Christians, against the church. I mean, this is Paul, all out, going 100% against the church. Incredible testimony. Going into houses. And so it's like, man, he was so bold, right, for the devil. You wonder why he was so bold for the church. Amen. That's like, that ought to be our testimony. You know, come on, you. how bold were you when you were living in your sin? You didn't care of nothing. You just did what you wanted, however you wanted. Amen. But now that it comes to serving God, oh, but Pastor Little Old Me, I just, I can't muster it up. No, you know, why don't you be bold for God like you were for the devil? Amen. Come on. Let's do something for the Lord. And so Paul, uh, is wreaking havoc in the church. He's dragging people off to prison. Many of them were probably put to death. And so he writes to us, uh, this enemy of God becomes a servant of God. Amen. That's like, that is the testimony of all of us. We were enemies of God. And God brings us in and makes us sons and daughters, makes us servants. It's incredible. Romans chapter 5, verse 10 says if we were when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his son how much more having been reconciled we shall be saved by his life he's talking we were enemies we were enemies of God amen come on weren't you an enemy I was an enemy I know I was I did my own thing I was a rebel amen and uh, hardcore into it uh, just foul and you know what I was an enemy of God. No, one nothing to do with God. Oh, but God had a different plan. And I thank God that even when we were enemies, now we can yet be reconciled to Him. Listen to what He writes about Himself in the book of Galatians, chapter 1. You have heard of my former conduct in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. 
He's giving his testimony. I was against it. I didn't want nothing to do with it. In fact, I tried to destroy it. But now, what happened? He met Jesus. See, something happens when you meet Jesus. Jesus called out to him, and then Paul realized that God was trying to get a hold of him. And said, Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? Oh, that we would have men and women who would cry out, Lord, what do you want me to do? Right? It's so opposite today. It's, God, this is what I want you to do for me. Rarely is it, God, what do you want me to do? And so we learn a lesson here today. It doesn't matter how far someone has gone, how bad they think they are, or maybe how bad you think you are. God can save anybody and use anybody. Amen. Come on. Isn't that worth rejoicing over? God can save anybody. And not only can he save anybody, he can use anybody. And I thank God for that this morning. Amen. The Apostle Paul's testimony. Before he was the Apostle Paul, he was Saul. And so now we know him as the beloved apostle. And so that's an encouragement for us today. And Paul gives his testimony. This is how I was. But God came through. Amen. Come on, how about your life? Let me give God some praise today. Right? Doesn't God come through for you? Where did God save you from? Never forget where you came from. Now God has worked in your life. Helps keep you humble. And so, amen. The Lord bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen.